मैं निवेदन करना चाहूँगी आमंत्रित करती हूँ डॉक्टर कुमार मंगलम बिरला जी को चेयरमैन आदित्य बिरला ग्रुप उन्हें तालियों के साथ शुभकामनाओं के साथ मंच पर स्वागत करते हैं आप जानते होंगे कि 2023 में अभी हाल ही में उन्हें पद्म भूषण से सुशोभित किया गया है इनवाइटिंग डॉक्टर कुमार मंगलम बिरला जी Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji Honorable Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh Shri Yogi Adityanath ji Honorable Defence Minister Shri Rajnath Singh ji Honorable Governor of UP Shrimati Anandi Ben Distinguished Ministers Government Officials Ladies and Gentlemen It gives me great pleasure to be here today joining the Global Investor Summit here among amongst both indian and leading investors from across the globe we are meeting against the backdrop of a moment of remarkable change and unbridled possibilities in india as you are all aware india is now the fastest growing large economy in the world and is poised to become the third largest economy in the world by 2030 As a global business group we operate in 36 countries and I can confidently say that India today stands out amongst all of them There is perhaps no other country in the world that combines robust democracy transformational governance economic might demographic dynamism and entrepreneurial energy From renewables to digital governance and space tech to agri innovation india is emerging as a truly global champion and for that one man deserves much of the credit our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji jin par 140 crore bharatwasiyon ka atut vishwas hai our prime minister has energized each one of us to say the very least with his vision for our nation's amrit kal a glorious period of sustained growth and prosperity one where our actions will be in harmony with the universe mujhe vishwas hai ki is amrit kal mein hamari yani india ki pragati vaishvik samriddhi ka ek neev hogi and at the heart of this indian story is of course uttar pradesh the aditya birla group shares a deep bond with uttar pradesh About 500 kilometers from here, at Renukut, our metals flagship company Hindalco took roots way back in the 1950s. Since then, our operations there have grown multifold, and we have also expanded our presence into many other sectors in the state. For example, cement, chloralkali chemicals, fashion retail, financial services, and carbon black, to name a few. Today seven of our group businesses have a significant presence in Uttar Pradesh anchored by over 30000 people across our operations in the state our total investment value in UP stands at a staggering 40000 crores it is heartening for me to see as an investor Uttar Pradesh undergo a metamorphosis in the last few years under the leadership of honorable chief minister Shri Yogi Adityanath ji and under the guidance of honorable prime minister Shri Narendra Modi ji is sandarbh mein kuch mujhe adarniya pradhan mantri ji ke ek vaktavya ka ek ansh yaad aata hai jo kafi viral bhi hua tha aapne sir kaha tha UP plus yogi bahut hai ab upyogi Uttar Pradesh was all, always known for being the most populous state in India for its agrarian base and for its proximity to the national capital region. However, it was a laggard in industrial development despite having a large consumption base. That picture is slowly and dramatically changing thanks to a pragmatic and industry friendly administration and rapid pace of infrastructure development. The scale of infra 
constructive projects and their pace of implementation here are both remarkable. Be it the state-of-the-art highway projects crisscrossing the length and breadth of the state, the metro rail projects or the new airports, the state is upgrading its infrastructure in a transformative way. The government has also made significant strides in terms of ease of doing business. It was ranked second in the ease of doing business survey of the central government. Its Nivesh Mitra portal, which is a dedicated single window system, has won huge appreciation from investors. To further build upon its attractiveness for investors, the Uttar Pradesh government has recently launched a new industrial investment and employment promotion policy that targets making the state a $1 trillion economy. Investors are already taking note of the changing face of Uttar Pradesh. In the three years ending September 2022, the state has attracted FDI worth $1.1 billion, which is more than what it has attracted over the first two decades of this century. When it comes to building new age infrastructure or providing efficient governance, Uttar Pradesh is creating an example for other states to follow. In the process, it is creating immense opportunities for investors both in India and abroad. As an early investor in the industrial journey of the state, we feel enthused by the rapid progress that the state is making. Today, Uttar Pradesh can rightly be considered one of the key states driving India's journey towards a $5 trillion economy. And therefore, we are committing further investments to the tune of rupees 25,000 crores across our businesses, cement, metals, chemicals, financial services, and renewable energy. And we are truly excited to be a part of this journey. Thank you.